Hello guys. Uh, today in uh, this tutorial, will uh, tell you how to make uh, word replacement if you have a word file like this one. And uh, sometimes we want to replace uh, a word which is repeated in many files. So um, there are many macros to do the same, but for people that they don't like to mm, deal with codes or they don't have a programming background they can uh, use this simple uh, script that uh, I made here so if you have uh, any question about the script uh, it, uh, I also made it available on uh, GitHub. If um, if you want to get it, it is um, open source. You can contribute. You can add uh, the scripting language is uh, Autoit version three, and uh, I already uh, built it here. So. This is simply uh, a warning to tell you uh, that you need to close all uh, word files and all things that you don't like need because uh, it may get uh, um, you know confused or to close uh, unnecessary files. So to avoid any problems, you have to uh, close anything that you don't need uh, here we have a folder path uh, I made this folder path because if it is already you're going to make uh, replacements on big scale so you have to uh, not to choose by one by one file by file but you can get them in once and here tells you that you have to test it before doing any replacements on a bigger scale because if you made these replacements there is uh, no way to undone them unless that you uh, replace them again so to avoid this issue you can test it on one file only or many files so we have many files here we can select any one of them so all the files will uh, will appear here in our files list okay with full uh, path so we have the files here you can open file you can uh, for example don't want all of these so you can just delete them uh, open file here so this is our file this is uh, text inside it okay let's say that we want to uh, replace this old text with new text okay we have here old text new text so we can add this from here text manually so all text it will find all text in all uh, files and to replace it with new text here so if you make two replacements per file so it means you have one replacement in the replacement test so if you choose to do so you can uh, do the replacement So it is done here. Okay, let's open uh, the file. Okay, I think it is done. Yeah. This is just one copy. 
this is our file this is the new text it was the old one before okay this is for uh, one file what if we want to add more than one one folder so we have to uh, select this option include files in subfolder so it will get all files which are in uh, same folder let's say we have this is as a main folder this is our main folder we have subfolder here uh, it has uh, same set of uh, files we have the same here and etc so all these are subfolders we want to include them all of them so once we mark this and we make select again we will g select uh, this folder for example okay and you will get all the files and the folders and subfolder as you see and it will tell you that we have this number of files we have 90 files here okay so let's assume that you have more than one replacement and it is really hard to uh, write them every time here so what you can do is um, you just add them in an excel sheet like this one okay sorry okay we have here is old okay and then you it will start replacing from uh, the two three until the last line so we need to add this to the list here so instead of use this text manually adding like this one we don't want to do this so we add them from this excel file so it will tell you that this is the old text this is the new text this is should be the format of the excel if you don't know how uh, it should be you choose uh, excel it will take a while and it will tell you that we have 34 replacements and we have 90 files so it will take uh, time to do all of them but let's uh, try uh, some files because 90 is it, it will take time and uh, we are here just to show how it works so we'll keep few files of each subfolder and now we have 12 files only and we have 34 replacement maybe this is uh, okay we will leave this here and now we will uh, start doing uh, the replacements so uh, it will start uh, replacing and it will show you a percentage of the files which means 50% uh, means it replaces the orders in half the files okay but mostly they don't have uh, these words if they don't have the, it will not it cannot f be found this word for example it will not be replaced this is for sure and uh, search is um, non-sensitive case so you don't have to worry if it is uh, old word it is in capital letters or small letters I think we are done uh, replacing them this is uh, our new text new word and they are all uh, the same So um, this is our tutorial for today and I hope you like if you have uh, any question anything you want to ask about 
um, please leave a comment if you think this is a useful tool you can uh, share this video you can uh, like it and you can make any suggestion to improve uh, future videos so uh, thanks for watching and see you again